It's been a lot of lonely nights since my dog died Dreaming about them Porsches with them fog guys. I cried a hundred fucking times, but it's all alive Cause everybody gotta die, you never know your time I've been dreaming about the day when I can see you smile I reminisce about them times, I cried a hundred times I feel like nobody relate until they see you down Cause everybody got a time, but it's the same us What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Come here, give me a big old hug, you know, if you're just coming to the channel. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. That's a great welcome right there. But what's up today, man? Today, just a little simple video. Today, we're going to talk about the top things that have happened to my truck the last year. I've had my truck for about a year now and oh, a little bit over a year, actually. And there's some issues that happened to my truck. So, when I first got my truck, oh, it was brand new. I have about 43,000 miles on it now, and um, it's been through a lot. It, it, it's been through a lot, man. So, you know, like, before this, I had a 2017 Silverado, um, about 35,000 miles on it. Got it for a great price, and I end up wrecking it. Um, R.I.P. to Jay, you know what I'm saying? That's my baby. That's my first baby. That's the first truck I ever bought. Um, so this is the second truck I bought. This is Dior, Dior, you know. But um, but yeah, so in this video, we're just going to talk about what has happened to the truck in the last year or so. So like I was saying, I got about 43,000 miles on this truck. I bought it brand new. It's a 2021 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss. Lifted it, put big wheels on it, um, rock lights, train horn, amp steps. Did the starlight ceiling. Um, I've done a lot of mods to it. Core air intake, Pulsar LT. Um, all those mods are holding up real good. And it's a 6.2 liter. Forgot to say that. But it, all of the mods are holding up good, which is a great thing. But um, let's talk the first real big issue. So I would say about 5,000 miles in. 5,000 miles in, I had lifted failures. And so the big thing about the 2021 and up Chevys anyway. Chevy 6.2s, uh, even 5.3s, the V8s, um, they had lifted problems this year, like last year. They had big, big lifted problems. So mine happened around 5,000 miles. I was driving on the way home for Mother's Day, actually. And my car started, my truck started. I'm like, what is this? So I, I try to get to the nearest um, gas station got there, check engine light was coming on, it was revving ridiculously. It was and it was sporadic revving by itself. And so I was trying to figure out what's wrong and whatnot. So I took it to the parts store and <laughs> the guy said, Is that a new truck? I said, Yes, sir. He said, Oh well you need to take it back to the dealership. Duh, I will, but it's Sunday. <laughs> um and so I ended up dropping off to the dealership. My mom came pick me up. And we dealt with it on Monday. And so, and so, you know, they told me, hey, it's the lifters, they failed. Like, it is what it is. So we gonna, you know, replace the lifters and whatnot. So it took them about two months to replace them. Just because it was one little part that they take off the truck and you can't replace it back to the truck. Like, you have to, like, order a new one. So it took about two months and I ended up going to what OTAs or whatnot and they gave me a rental car had a convertible Camaro thought I was cool man I had my hair flowing in the wind I thought I was cool for real man but um but yeah and then you know lo and behold they called me one day and said hey your truck is ready so hey when time was when time when it was time to go back picked up my truck nothing was wrong with it you know it was cool man so that's the first thing that happened since I had the truck big issue really a big issue but that was the first big issue I had with the truck you know so 
Next big issue that I'm having with my truck, um, and don't get me wrong, I understand that, you know, everything is material stuff, like it tears up, I understand that. But right now I'm having a big creaking noise. And so, you know, I did my research and try to figure out what it is, try to see, you know, how can I fix it or whatnot. I end up buying some uh, solution spray, like some uh, lubricating spray. And um, I thought it was the leaf springs. I really thought it was the leaf springs. And I still think it is the leaf springs. Um, so I, I sprayed the leaf springs and the creaking will go away. But now I spray the leaf springs and it's really not going away. You know what I'm saying? So that's the that's another big issue that I'm having with the truck. Like, don't get me wrong, if I'm playing music or whatnot, and even if I'm driving on the highway, I do not hear it at all. It's only when I get on bumpy roads that I hear it, and that's why I think it's the least friends. And so, um, I gotta figure out figure out what that is. Don't get me wrong, I'm gonna take you back to the dealership shit when I have time. I really don't have time right now. Uh, so probably, you know, I'll have it for like I'll drive it for another year or another season while I'm down there, trying not to put too much miles on it. And then we're gonna take it back to the dealership and we're gonna see what's the problem. You know, hopefully they can fix it. Um, you know, this it should be simple to fix. If not, then they're gonna have to figure something out, you know? And so I really don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. We'll see how it go though. We'll see how that go in in January, February. Or yeah, we'll see how that go. The last thing that I really wanna talk about is just what's next. Um don't get me wrong, I love my truck, man. I do. I figured out, you know, I figured out a long time ago that, you know, you can drive a truck a long time and be totally fine with it. Me, I might want to upgrade. I don't know what I want to upgrade to yet, but I'm thinking about a diesel. And so it's either a uh, Chevy 2500 High Country or a AT4 HD. I don't want the Denali, and I, I know like the high countries come with a lot of chrome. I do not like I don't like chrome at all, but it's a high country. I could deal with. It. I don't know. I I'm I'm torn between because I really do like black. Like that's just that's just what I am. You know, like <laughs> that's just what it is. Like I like black. So in that case, like this Trail Boss, I I literally got the Trail Boss because everything was black, and so. I might go to an AT4 HD, I'm not sure yet. 2500, big boy diesel, I don't know yet. Or I might go high country way. Or I might even go to Denali HD way. I'm not sure yet, but I do want a diesel. And so hopefully next year, everything goes as planned as I want it to. And we can get a diesel. We can trade this one in and get a diesel. And so we'll see. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think. But that will conclude this video. It's a little short little video, man. I hope you enjoyed. Um, more content coming soon. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment, man. Leave leave your opinion in the comments. I, I really do read them, and um, I enjoy reading your comments. So I'll catch y'all on the next one. And remember, you got to pay the cost to be the boss. And hopefully we getting this diesel next year. Feel me? Come on. I'm out. <laughs>